Hello, universe, and uh, welcome to another, um, <laughs> what do I say when I start these? This is how to find um, a mushroom biome here. Let's uh, float up a little bit. I'm very excited because I finally found a mushroom biome in the large biomes. And this is very exciting for me. Um, <laughs> let me try and... Uh, express my excitement a little bit more, but um, uh, there we are. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's see, we have a map, so I'll just look at it. Oh, I'm barely on the map. Okay, not much to see there. Um, I don't know how big this biome is going to turn out to be. Um, oh, let me show you something, though. Uh, can you read that? That's map 124. <laughs> um, you can divide that by... Uh, divide it by uh, five, I believe, because um, basically every time you make like a, a, a maximum zoomed map, it's going to be, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to take up five because you got to go through each uh, map before it. So that's the boat I rode in on. That's my boat there. Um, and, uh, so yeah, divide by five, which makes basically 25 maps worth of exploration, um, uh, just to find this measly little biome. Do I have a bed with me? I do have a bed. Um, so I'm not going to explore too much, but what I was going to do, what I was going to turn this video into is... Um, <laughs> I'm going to turn it into a tutorial video on how to find a um, your own um, biome, your own uh, mushroom biome. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to establish a base, um, and then I've got to get back to where I started. Um, I brought uh, some obsidian with me to make a nether portal. Uh, so I am going to uh, build a base and then I'll see you in a second. Uh, so before I leave the mushroom biome, I just wanted to show you a couple things just so you get a, in case you're not f already familiar with mushroom biomes. Um, it is large biomes, so you can see this is a very cool view of just all these, you know, this huge land covered in nothing but mushrooms, uh, mycelium for ground and mushrooms as far as the eye can see. Uh, of course we have ocean over here, but um, this biome is going to be even larger Like once I get past that. And here's the map of it. And notice um, one of the things that, um, that I discovered uh, to my chagrin was that the mushroom biome is colored green on these maps. Um, so if you should pass one accidentally and not see it on your way by, um, you and you see it on the map, you'll you won't see it as a mushroom biome. You'll just see it as green like that. Um, so unfortunately, th it's possible to miss a mushroom biome. Of course, any little islands are going to be green. Do you see that one in the distance there? Any little islands are going to be green like that. Um, anyways, like there won't be little. At least I don't think there will be little parts of this mushroom biome. Anyways, uh, the other thing I wanted to do, I, I don't, <laughs> I died a few times. I had a silk touch pick at one point, but I died and I lost it. And yeah, this is not going to give me mycelium. It's just going to give me dirt. Um, and that's fine. Um, I intend to come back here and um, do a lot more harvesting. Um, so, yes, uh, <laughs> and we are back in, um, hometown here, hometown, <laughs> my home base, uh, in the, what used to be the middle of the forest, but, uh, yeah, it looks like I've been building a lot of buildings around here. Um, anyways, uh, the reason we're back here is because I finally made it home after a long ordeal at sea, um, sailing around in, in ships and stuff, and then I built this uh, building um, because I needed a place to um, 
how's my maps? Um, so you may have caught a glimpse of these maps. Now, I don't know of the best way to build a map display um, house or room or whatever. These maps are zoomed out to the maximum possible zoom. Like I can't get any further out than this. Um, and so uh, I don't. I didn't count these, but I think there's might be 13 or 14, maybe as many as 20 maps altogether in this. Um, structure. Uh, maybe if I stand over, say I built a little platform here so I can kind of look at it there, but it's um, that's not going to be too much use because they're, those maps are way too far away. Um, so, but the thing is I want to be able to expand this, like basically keep on going up because the wall I was using before, the wall ended and I kept on having to dirt pillar up to the top. Uh, which was a problem and as you can see I've already reached this wall here so I'm gonna have to expand out this way into the forest and maybe can chop that tree down and, and do a whole bunch more renovations um, uh, see what you think of um, if you are watching this video give me a comment and, and let me know what you think of the material for the background um, I picked this uh, nether brick because um, I figured that the um, the display items would stand out better against it. Um, the only problem with nether brick is that it's difficult to count blocks because it's hard to see the um, the selection box around it because it's dark. On lighter blocks you can see a little black line between the between each block when you um, mouse over it but uh, it's harder to see on a darker block like that. Um, I've also lined the floor with um, a glowstone so I don't have to worry about like having torches in the middle, in the middle of everything um, and uh, disrupting the pattern because basically I need I want to have every square available in case I want to stick a map in between and you'll see that like a lot of these maps don't exactly line up perfectly um, there's a little like uh, a cape there that you can see here that actually lines up to this map over here and it's about in the middle um, so yeah all these maps overlap quite a bit um, and you see I haven't filled in this map here but it is on this map it's um, you know that whole sea is explored um, and this is this map shows where I am now. See, I'm off in the corner. Um, I have another map that I should put down somewhere here of like my my forest, um, which I think you saw. Uh, so so I'm yeah I'm in the middle of that one basically because my base is in the middle of that map. This map um, there's a lot of things you know. Up in the about in the middle here, there's a um another there's not another fortress a um a stronghold that leads to the end. You know, um, I haven't been there yet, um, but thinking about it. Um, then like a little way to the west, let me see. Uh, to the east of that, uh, there is a um like my my uh extreme hills mining operation where I mine um uh, mine emeralds and things like that. Uh, then even further east, there's this kind of this island, which is for a while served as a base for um, some of my mapping forays. Um, but then it turned out, like when I set out from that base, that um, turns out that I was in basically an inner sea. So it's almost like a lake. So I did about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know about 12 maps um, basically cover that that inner sea area and then I discovered that it was basically bounded on all sides by land um, but luckily that's when I found this area um, and uh, if I hadn't been basically I've, if I hadn't been lucky because I've been just following the coastline I would have completely missed that there's another sea so close um, but this little river goes almost straight between the two oceans. Like this is this is my inland sea, 
and on the other side of this is like a much larger C, which I, I would only find out later. Um, and yeah, I only almost accidentally found out that I that these were connected by this river, which I, I don't normally like uh, follow rivers when I'm exploring. Uh, instead, I just followed the coastline, so I might have just completely missed that. But yeah, I, I, as I said, I got lucky. Um, what I did after I discovered that is I... Um, I followed that coastline, so you can see that it goes south and north, both, both. So I followed it and kept on making maps and kept on exploring. Um, and uh, kept on making more and more maps. Um, these don't connect perfectly, but the idea is that this map above here connects to this map. Um, there's a lake visible kind of inland here. Um, the, the reason I did that is because I want to make the maps have recognizable features in common with each other so I can put them back together again later. Uh, it's pretty important for me for mapping. Um, the trick to, uh, or at least like what I've learned so far about mapping, um, is that you want to explore like as much of the ocean as possible to establish the kind of the boundaries and borders of it. And then you have to, um, you have to sail uh, between, well, up to a thousand blocks, somewhere less than a thousand blocks away. So I had to sail from, you know, like there's the edge of that map, I sailed to the middle of this map without even knowing that I was on it, and I just kind of guessed that that would be far enough to uh, create a new map. And so I did, and then I had to actually go backtrack and explore this area again, just so that this map would be um, connectable with this map. Um, so yeah, you want to, like these, I believe these maps are about 2,000 blocks across, or 2 kilometers, if that's a helpful way to think of it. Um, 2 kilometers across, and uh, so the, the middle of a map is going to be 1,000 kilometers, or 1,000 meters, 1 kilometer from, or 1,000 squares uh, from the previous map. Um, so, but I've because a lot of the time it's diagonal, so that's a little bit different. Um, I didn't bother with the math for that, uh, at least not yet. I may uh, figure that out a little better later on, but uh, basically just roughly going until I think I've gone a thousand squares and then plonk down a new map and fill out the new one. Um, so yeah, again, doing that over and over again. Um, the, the other thing that I did, though, was... Um, you know, I explored, uh, I told you I explored southward from that, so there's there's my um, kind of isthmus. Um, by the way, there's some really cool, like, villages, and um, there's a village there, and there's some cool pyramids. So this is a very cool, like, desert area. I want to I want to explore all of that a little bit more and kind of make that my own little country, too. Um, I did build a nether portal here, too, so this is my second base of mapping operations. You will call the first base of ma mapping operations was over on an island, basically directly across this inland sea, which is uh, one or two maps in this direction. And there's that, there's my island. So I don't know if these exactly map, um, line up, but they don't have to now because I never have to cross this sea again because I've built another portal uh, here and it's a lot uh, faster to get from my home base way over in the west to this new area in the east. So yeah, that's a new base. And then that's where I, I launched all these other explorations of both north and south. And I was going to say, like, I only went, I, I went three maps south from there. And then I found out that we're turning this way. I, yeah, I don't know if it continues that way. Um, that's my thought, though. Uh, and then I found, like, this is another... I don't know if this is another continent or if this connects up in a large bay or, you know, there's no way of knowing until I actually map all of it. Um, which is, I mean, I've, I've just been kind of enjoying myself. You know, you better enjoy yourself if you're going to be doing tedious <laughs> work, work like uh, filling out, like, dozens of maps this way. Um, because a lot of it is just... Uh, sailing into sailing into nothing. And one of the other things that happens when you um when you sail across a sea like this 
is it's just like a little tiny bit very very slowly slow movement across the map and basically like you know as far as the game world is concerned like what you can look around you can look around in all 360 degrees and you can see no absolutely nothing and it might be raining or it might be uh, sunny or whatever um, you know it's I guess that's uh, kind of what it's like in real life to be out on the open ocean is you just see absolutely nothing. Of course what it doesn't have is that it doesn't have waves. I think that would be really cool if Minecraft had waves. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know where this goes. Um, so I'm eager to explore that way. Uh, bring another 20, you know, another stack of maps with me to, to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so then I went north and when I got to, I, I'm pretty sure it's, um, I think it was this map, might have been this one, um, I might have even been as far as this map uh, before I actually, I think it was, yeah, it was this map, so I was quite a ways towards my goal. And then uh, uh, my goal being to find that mushroom uh, biome, which I, I think is on the title of this video, so <laughs> you already knew that. Um, so I was already here, and then uh, that's when I gave up on like um, I gave up on my quest. Uh, well, let me see. I gave up trying to do it legit, and um, I went and I downloaded a, a program that will like find mushroom biomes for me and I, I went and I peeked at it. I didn't look at it very long either and I didn't like work out exactly how far it is but I found basically I found the shape of my continent, my my inland sea, I found that and I found um, what all this was and I discovered according to that map that there was a mushroom biome only here. That That's the mushroom biome. So it was, it was actually, turns out that it was very close to where I was um, the problem is, though, as I was saying before, I usually follow the coastline, um, and if I had built a map, well, actually, yeah, because if I had built a map right here, like this is the edge here, or the edge would be um, right about there, I might have missed this. I might have missed this island completely and just gone thinking that this was open ocean and I would never have seen that mushroom biome uh, and I would have continued all the way around another you know 20 maps or so still looking for mushrooms not realizing that I had passed it you know s like ages ago and um, this is not uh, taking doing these maps is not uh, uh, it, it, well let me see it is time consuming it takes a lot of time uh, um, my first set of maps uh, took me like basically a whole weekend uh, to do. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we're talking a lot of uh, work. Um, so yeah, so I got as far as as there. Then I peaked, and then I was like, oh well, there's a mushroom biome right there. Well, actually, I didn't say that. I said because I was just looking at it wrong, and I wasn't calculating or anything it looked like it was a lot further away and it looked like it was a lot larger too um, although I, when I first started looking for mushroom biomes on large biomes map I had no idea how big they were gonna be so this is actually larger than I was expecting I was expecting to s one of these tiny little green dots maybe like maybe a, a eight or ten green dots would would do it um, there's a there's a desert island here that I thought would be about the right size, um, but no, it turns out large biomes uh, expands your mushroom biomes too, which is a good thing. That's that's good. It helps you to find them. Um, helps a little bit offset the fact that they are so far away from home. Um, so yeah, I had no idea how big of uh, islands to look for. That could have saved me some trouble on some of these early maps because you don't necessarily have to fill out the entire map if you know that you're looking for something that big as long as there isn't an, an unexplored area um, bigger than that um, like there there probably isn't a mushroom biome hiding in these little triangles for example so if I did like a grid pattern like back and forth up and down um, I probably could have saved myself some time finding and you know 
I'm probably going to find more um, mushroom biomes now that I've found this one. I'm, that's another challenge for me to find uh, uh, more areas in the world. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, and I'll try some more mapping techniques to, to really make it as efficient as possible um, and, and do grid patterns rather than filling out the entire map. Um, also, yeah, you, the, the lesson I learned is that you have to go a little bit out into the sea. Um, I think it's actually kind of pretty typical that um, mushroom biomes will be about uh, um, about 2,000 blocks out, or 2 kilometers. So you will need, like, a map like this is not going to be good enough. You want a map right on the edge of any land that you find, or e if not even out further on little islands, or even make your own little islands, um, or whatever because you want to be you want to get as much exposure to this open ocean as possible um, the other thing though is once you do get into open ocean like beyond continents and whatnot um, mushroom biomes become the the dominant uh, landform which I don't know if that's going to be the case forever with minecraft but basically once you get into open ocean the next thing you encounter is if it's not a continent it'll be a, a mushroom biome mushroom island and uh, those are actually much more likely to occur than than islands. It's like um, it looks like if you look at those islands, it looks like they're basically dotted with uh, look. If you look at maps of uh, an ent a world entirely unveiled, it will look like there's mushroom biomes just everywhere in the ocean, which I don't think was intended by Mojang to um, to do that. But that's what they ended up. That's how the code ended up working especially in large biomes. I don't know if it's the same in small biomes. Um, it might be that in small biomes there's not the same space to generate um, mushroom islands. But um, I'm not yet familiar with the code enough. I mean, I've looked at it, but I don't really understand it. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so all of that work <laughs> to uh, to arrive at a mushroom biome there. I did build a nether portal here, um, and then I had a bunch of mishaps like trying to orient myself. I built another nether portal here on the mainland. Um, you can, you probably can't see a little uh, bit of gray, but I, I built a cobblestone fortress uh, kind of there t for another temporary base. So, you know, I have temporary bases two or three along the way to here. Um, and, but then that didn't work out properly either, so I had to go inland even more. Um, and inland being a relative term because this is obviously like a mix of water and peninsulas and, and inner seas, which is pretty cool, but it also makes it very confusing. Uh, so I did build a teleport in the, about in the middle of this, a teleport, a, a portal in the middle of this map here. And that what basically that served to do was it oriented me um, because in the nether you, bas you get turned around. Um, kind of randomly when you enter a nether portal so you don't know which direction you're going until you actually establish a second portal and uh, which direction they go. So I did that. I established another portal. So I got that far and um, I built a little bit further but um, the next, my next sort of task is to connect this nether portal map w back with the other one I have at my uh, desert isthmus, which is here. So it looks like I'm going to be going southwest to accomplish that. Um, and uh, that's going to be <laughs> it's going to be kind of fun, uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, oh, this is, well, I don't know if this is, uh, this is, it turns out to be an island. That was kind of cool. Like it's just an island of one biome. It's just snow. I didn't really explore it too much beyond that, but I did manage to sail all around the perimeter of it, and that's always fun to do when you can complete an island um, when you're mapping. Uh, yeah, so I, I just wanted to show you, like, um, uh, do I have it here? Not really. Um, I have item frames for displaying, and I have some more nether brick to uh, expand all of this. Um, I did make extra copies of some of the maps, like that's just... Um, just one of my maps. It's uh, I don't remember which one. Um, oh yeah, 
I built a, a little fence around here to keep the creepers out. Um, I had a, I had my maps um, here before. Like it's, it was a really weird place for me to put them, but I had them here, and I had a, a dirt wall, and I had all my item frames up here. Um, and it, when you knock an item frame off next to glass, the item will often land in the glass. So that was a problem, so I had to keep on jumping up to get it. Um, obviously this is not enough space, so I had I had it extended with dirt and stuff. And then, to top it all off, um, I didn't have all this fence out here, all this lighting, and uh, a creeper exploded right outside the door. And um, I don't think he destroyed any of my maps, but he did knock a whole bunch of them off the wall. Um, and so I had to go quickly pick up all the maps, and I believe I salvaged them all. Um, I don't see any major gaps in my like in my display over there, um, but I haven't. You know, it's not perfect, so there could have there could have been a um, a map lost in that. And um, but that's okay. I, I still know how to get to where I need to get go. So um, so anyways, um, I might just get rid of this fence. I'm not really sure what I want to what I plan on doing with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I think it looks okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I added some doors on that side because I didn't have any doors. Haven't really changed this around too much. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to show you next. Um, these are all just. <laughs> I'm just awash in maps. Um, these are maps of my original area. Um, one of the strategies I originally had with making maps was to 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 do five maps each time I sat um, each time I picked a new center for the next set of maps I would create all five and I would build a chest and I would store them all in there um, like all five zooms um, but that just became because each map is very expensive to make um, that became like way too uh, consuming um, and I'm missing all my empty maps. They must be at the other location. Um, the other thing you need to do is if you're if you're making maps, basically half a stack of paper uh, will do you for like per map because you have to zoom it. You have to do four times to zoom it, uh, f like four sets of eight. So four times eight is thirty-two. Um, so each new area to map will cost you half a stack of paper. Um, so if you bring that all along with you, that can be quite uh, um, bulky in your inventory. Um, and let me see. Uh, options. Oh well. I was <laughs> I was going to turn the sound off, but um, I can just talk over the rain, and uh, if it's an issue. I can change it. Okay, so this has been a lot of, of talking. Um, but uh, if you've been following the talking, I think you might have get gotten some... Um, so each... Yeah, you might have gotten some useful, I don't know, tips for finding a mushroom biome. Each of these maps is a, um, a different zoom. and But I decided, like... At some point, I decided to stop doing that. I just did one map per zoom. Um, I did, like every once in a while I will back up a map. Um, you can do that by uh, dropping an empty map into your crafting table with a blank map. So I did that a number of times. Um, just, um, I, I'm not sure if I ever actually lost a map, but I came pretty close. I did die in the nether a few times, and one time I was carrying about four or five maps. Um, which I hadn't backed up, but luckily I was able to recover them. They didn't burn up in fire or lava or get blown up by a gas or anything like that. So um, I did. I got pretty lucky. <laughs> um, I would have had. I would have. What would I have done? Instead? I probably would have just made the maps again. I guess. I mean, um, I did it once, and I. I say I enjoyed it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I just I would have to just get it again. Um, so uh, maybe I will show you just how to. Oops, crack. Um, I will show you how to make a map. 
I mean, you probably, if you know anything about Minecraft, you probably already know all about making maps, but I'm just going to, just for the fun of it, I'm just going to make some blank maps. Um, the other thing is, like, I get, I got all of this stuff, like, uh, legitimately, is that, yeah, le like, just by playing normal survival mode, um, oops, I don't want that. Wow, so, yeah, so, yeah, I'll make 16 maps. Um, yeah, you saw I had, like, 20 or so maps on my dis in my display area, and for a while I was doing five maps per map um, and keeping them all. Um, the thing is, if you don't keep them them all, you can just, you can overwrite your smaller map with your bigger map, uh, in which case you don't require a new empty map per, for every, um, for every new uh, zoom that you do, you just need paper, um, which I, I did. Um, and yeah, you can see it takes a lot of paper to make these two, it's eight per map, and then, yeah, so it's, uh, it's no easy task, and it's just a lot of brute exploration, brute force exploration. Um, I wonder if there's less rain in here. Uh, it's a little better, not much better. I don't really have too much for, like, indoor space. I prefer, like, you can see I have this opening here. I kind of prefer this. Um... <laughs> oh, you know what? I might have oh, nothing. I was hoping I'd have something cooking, but looks like I didn't cook anything lately. It's all right. Um, <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, well, if yeah, if you have the patience to sit through this entire video, then you probably do have the patience to um. Uh, to find your own mushroom biome, I'm sure. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I may see you again in a minute, um, in a second here, as I, um, I didn't have silk to, so yeah, so I, I have a few more tasks yet to do. Um, I didn't, I don't have any silk touch, um, uh, harvesting items, either shovels or picks or anything like that. Uh, and the other thing I need to do is build another pathway to the Mushroom Island, which is going to be a quite a long um, uh, endeavor and uh, another boring thing. So um, I think I'll do that, and uh, I think I'll just go do that. Okay, and for the final segment of this video, um, oh, that's the wrong chest. Um, it has been actually a couple of weeks between recordings here, but for you, you just saw me do that other thing. Um, I finally managed to get a silk touch. Um, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, here's my big chest full of um, pickaxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine enchantments. I think I may have had one before. Uh, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 enchanted picks. Um, I think I'm supposed to get one after 14, so I actually did come in under the wire. Um, the average is supposed to be 14, if I did my math right, which I fully admit I probably didn't. Um, anyway, so I have a silk touch pick, silk touch pickaxe. So now I'm going to do a nice um, trip through the nether. Um, I've cut some more trees down, but I don't know if you've seen... Here, I, well, I'll show you that at, when I get back. Um, oh, we have a nice friendly spider. Come to say hi to me. And give me some nice string. That's alright. I'll take that string. I'll run down here into the nether. This portal will turn me around, and I will end up facing the wrong way. So there's another village that way, but I want to go and turn around and go this way. And uh, it is quite a trip through the nether, so I'm going to stop talking now and probably speed it up a little bit.
Okay, now if I've done my job right, I'm getting quite close now. So I'm going to slow this down again and start talking to you. Uh, so here we are. Um, yeah, that was a pretty long trip. Uh, how many? I'm not even sure how many potatoes I ate. I didn't count. Um, I don't know. Did you, did you notice I switched over to baked potatoes from bread? You probably didn't notice, but yeah, I started eating baked potatoes instead. What I want to do is switch to pork, which is why I need a mushroom farm, because I, I feed, uh, I change my game for that. And for a mushroom farm, I want mycelium, which is why I've gone to all this trouble. And yeah, once again, that little trip, I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. I obviously don't play every day because I have um, a job and other things to do. Uh, oh, that's not even the right portal either. Okay, so it's still a little bit of a ways yet to go. And I'm being chased again by ghasts. And for some reason... Oh, that was... Oh, right, okay. For some reason, it's super laggy right here. Um, and I'm not sure why. There we go. Um, I made, I built this nice bridge across the uh, the lava. And um, I think it's the, the noise of the lava that's um, giving me all that pr trouble with lag. Oh yeah, look at that. Because there's nothing else around here that would be causing that. It's just all the lava. And um, when you first enter an area in the nether, you always have that problem of lava flowing down. And then all of the lava, all of these lava flows have to calculate where they're supposed to go. If they go straight down, that's fine. But if they land on a ledge, then they get spread out. And that's even more lava flows. Um, I'm not sure if that explains the lag, though. I think, to be honest, it's just the noise. And I, I haven't really figured out how to fix that. Hopefully it will be fixed without me having to do anything. Um, and I know it will go away in a few seconds once I get away from that lava ocean. Here we go. Uh, come on. Oh, and yeah, Minecraft is giving me a warning that the can't keep up. Did the system time change or is the server overloaded? Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> but it, yeah, it's a pain. So yeah, this is a very long way and um, it's probably more like uh, I probably don't have enough iron to make a train track all the way and it would take, you know, even more another week or two weeks or however long just to do that so I don't know if I'll ever come back again to this uh, I hope I do I mean I really do hope I come back to this mushroom biome because it's really cool um, but it also is a great deal of game time it's what 20 minutes of, of game time just running back and forth um, so yeah so I'm probably not not likely to come back here ever um, unfortunately Oh, well, let's see what's in that chest. Okay, I emptied it. Good. And this this is my final destination here. And hopefully it takes me to the right place. Let's find out. Yes, okay. Um, I, have we been to this island? I don't even remember. It, it, just a couple minutes ago for you, but it, it was several weeks ago for me. Um, I have all of these things here. Uh, I don't need anything right now. I don't think, although those empty maps would be good to, well, I'll pick them up on my way back, how about that, and I'll drop that stuff off in there too. I also have a whole bunch of just random materials, and is the sun just rising? Oh, that's good timing, I'm glad that worked out. Um, actually, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't, because the thing about mushroom biomes is no mobs. So I could have gone there in the middle of the night, and it would have been just fine. Um, oh, you know what I want to do? Now that I think about it, um, I want to leave the mushroom biome as untouched as I can. And in order to do that, sorry about having to turn around and go back here again, but in order to do that, I will bring 
Um, how much dirt do I want to bring? I don't want to just. I don't want to spend too long. Um, how many stacks? Three. St I have three stacks of dirt on me. I want to replace everything that I pick up, all of the mycelium, with dirt. And I know that the dirt is going to. Um, re the mycelium will regrow on top of the dirt. So, um, you know, I probably don't need to do it, but I am doing it anyways. Okay. And yes, I got a pick, but not a shovel. So here's my silk touch shovel, or sh silk touch pick. And where shall I go? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that should be a stack, so I'll just collect it all. I'm grabbing the mushrooms too while I'm at it. Not that I need them, I have plenty of mushrooms back at the base, but... Um, yeah, I, I really don't need to be doing this, but... I spent all this time getting to the island. I can spend a little time making sure I leave things the way I found them. Okay, uh, we want silk touch. Oh, let me check. Yeah, I do have two, three, Okay. You know, yeah, that's the thing. I don't even need all of this mycelium. I only really need to bring one back with me, and I can grow it at home. But the thing about mycelium... Um, well, for one thing, it takes a while to grow, so it's nice to have a bunch. Um, and I want to have a few backup caches on the way so I don't have to go all the way back uh, in case I lose it all. Okay, so yeah, I have two stacks of mycelium and I can do one more stack. Um, where am I going to get it from? I like this flat area, so I'm going to try and find another flat area, flattish area. The other thing I, I wanted, I don't think I can do right now is, yeah, I just realized I'm going to have to come back here and and figure out a way to get these mushrooms back. Um, I don't think I brought any seeds. I, I don't know if they eat wheat either, so I didn't bring any wheat. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to come back and um, do some experiments and see if they'll eat wheat. Or I could just look on the wiki. Three. grab too many. That's okay. I can never have too much mycelium. What am I seeing over there? Oh, it's just shadows. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if I should kill one of those cows. I don't think I'll kill one right now. I don't want to kill them until I know for sure whether or not I can breed them again. Okay, so that's three stacks and one bonus piece of mycelium. And then I'm going to sail away. <laughs> and yes, I will have to come back another time, but it's probably going to be some months in real time before I come back here. Of course, 
all of these chunks will be unloaded, so nothing will happen over here. Um, so yes, here I go back home again. Um, did I uh, did I talk to you about building a railroad? I really wish I had a railroad, but yeah, it's a little bit too far, I think, even to build a railroad. Um, although, the, yeah, the more I go... Okay, I want some sand. Yes. I'll leave gravel here, leave some cobble here, leave all that stuff. I'm bringing all this paper and stuff home. Oh, I do have some wheat here for the cows, but I won't worry about it now. Um, I like having uh, stuff to plant. I'm going to keep that here. I'm going to keep some coal here. Potatoes to plant. Gas here I'm taking home. Mushrooms I'll leave here. Uh, do I have space for a rose? I probably uh, don't. Did I plant any trees? I didn't. I'm going to quickly plant some trees on this island. I Maybe I did and then I harvested them or something. I think I remember doing that. I chopped all the trees. I, I planted a bunch of trees and then chopped them all down again. I'm just going to plant them here so they're ready to go if I need to... Uh, get some wood again if I land here again um, of course yeah that's the thing there these chunks are going to be unloaded so these aren't going to grow as far as as long as I'm away so when I come back uh, yeah there won't be um, anyways <laughs> let's see yeah so I will leave furnaces here in fact I'm going to set those furnaces up um, yeah, uh, I won't put anything. Should I leave the obsidian here? I'll, I'll leave it here. I'll leave, I'll take the redstone with me though, because I, I can use that. And I have space for string, and I have space for everything else, okay. And netherrack doesn't go in there, because I have another box for netherrack. And I'll just leave that there, because I don't really need it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm going to travel back and I will actually cut this out. I'm not going to speed speed up the, uh, the trip on the way back. Um, let's make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, that's something else that way. I'm not sure what's that way. Um, this way to cross the sea to the mainland. And this, that's west, that direction. And so here, yeah, so I'm, I'm cutting now. I'll see you again in a minute. I don't want to forget. Um, I wanted to leave a kind of at waypoints. Um, that's probably enough mycelium. Um, yeah, all these little way, waypoints need a bit of mycelium on them so that I do not... Um, have to go all the way back in case I, in case I, for some dumb reason, which I've been known to do, uh, lose all my mycelium somewhere. Okay, so uh, cut to the next thing I'm doing. Just wanted to show you this cavern here. Um, I actually I spent a fair amount of time here. Um, you know, I, I built this this bridge across it, um, but I also at one point fell down. I was fighting a ghast. And I accidentally, um, I accidentally aggroed a, a pig man, and um, he, uh, the particular pig man that I got, he picked up um, two pieces of my armor and a particularly good sword. I still haven't got it, seen its equal again, um, because I've been spending all my enchanting on um, uh, pickaxes. But I had at the time I had a sharpness sword, which one of these, well, I. He's long gone now, but um, a pig man picked it up. And then basically what happened is every time I came in here, he would climb up this little set of stairs, or I would come down, and then I would... Um, he would... Basically, he would one-shot me. Um, and for some reason, he never despawned. I guess the, the pig men, they don't despawn, and, like they need time or something like that. So I, would, I kept on coming in here again and again and again, and I kept on running into the same guy with my sword and he kept on killing me 
project. So I did. I spent uh, more time than I would have liked in this particular little cavern, running all around, fighting pigmen and also ghasts and various things. So luckily, it's been fairly quiet, um, you know, ever since then. But I just thought I'd show it to you and show you know kind of what what I've been going through in <laughs> building this massive tunnel through the nether and like well tunnels and bridges and kind of it's all over the place um so nearby here we have another waypoint um let me just check where this one goes uh one of the reasons why I was having trouble there is because I got turned around and for a long time I was digging the exact opposite direction that I was supposed to be going. Um I believe I've I've well here let me just drop off some of these. I think I'll just drop off eight. In fact, I feel like I am going to plant one here too. I'm not sure if it needs light, but yeah, um, that's good enough. And how many? Yeah, I put eight in here. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to show you, because I believe I showed you this area on a map before, it, earlier in this, it, it'll be this video. Uh, here, let's, uh, where's the sun? Oh, the sun's just coming up. Okay, so yeah, I don't need to sleep. But this is a neat little desert area in between two oceans. Like, that's an ocean on that side, just loading now. And I've I've ridden boats all all through that whole ocean, and then on this side, there's a river, and the river goes through and meets. Well, I don't need to follow the river all the way to the other ocean, but believe me, it's not far. Um, the other ocean is just on the other side of this uh, little desert. There's more desert to the north and south here too, um, and that's west, and you know that's home is to the west. Uh, none of these trees were here before I planted these on the on the bank of the river. The grass was here, of course, because I didn't have silk touch back then. Um, and I spent a little time here. I even died a few times, and basically I started a little farm because I died and I had to uh, I had respawned here too. I could have just died and destroyed my bed, and I would have respawned elsewhere. But I decided instead that what I was going to do was um, kind of start all over again. So I had to, I had, fortunately I had established these trees already, so I had wood and and I had to do um, a little farm there and then I had to, I dug down here to get some stone. Um, I believe, is there a spider dungeon in here? Yeah, I was very lucky because look how directly that digs into the spider dungeon here. Hello spider, you can't spawn because it is too light for you. Um, so I'm probably not going to turn that into a like a trap or anything like that because I have better traps kind of closer to home. Um, let's eat some nummies. Um, but I am uh, what was I going to? I'm going to drop off some. The other thing too is there is um, like in that direction, which is south. There's a village in the desert, and there's also um, two pyramids which I haven't yet got around to looting although I don't think I think I have better stuff in my base right now um, so I don't really need to go looting the pyramids but it's always fun to just see you know see what you can get there so I'm dropping off some mycelium here for my um, restocking purposes in case I ever end up here again and at this waypoint um, and I will continue on in the nether and apparently home is this way yeah that's right okay and cutting to nearly home and very close to my um, home portal I just wanted to show you this little nether wart farm that I started up um, fairly simple uh, Probably the ideal place for a nether wart farm, though, is the overworld because I could use water to uh, harvest it. But I like that. I mean, this is just the start of a uh, start of a little nether wart farm. Um, yeah, little patches with a little walkway in between. So 
I don't have to walk on the soul sand all the time. Uh, let's see what I have in these chests. Yeah, nothing important. Okay, and with that, I won't cut to the next thing. I'm just going to go, um, yes, through my portal, see what time of day it is. It is midday. Well, that's nice. Um, the other thing I've been doing at my at this base area is I've been occasionally healing some villagers. Um, I was able to heal about four different villagers, but um, I feel so bad about locking them up that I always let them go free, and then um, so far every one of them has been killed by zombies. I had a um, I had an iron golem here too, protecting them. I made a, I made this little door for them because this is where I basically healed the zombie so I was like quick put up a door so I made that little cellar for him but he didn't I guess it wasn't enough to protect him because he got eaten by a zombie and I put an iron golem outside there but after the villagers uh, ran away the iron golem he's he basically just wanders like without anybody to protect he'll just go wherever he wants to go so he could be miles away by now. He's probably, yeah. And I have another. I you know remember that first one I I tamed I. Is that right? The right word. I built an iron golem, um, way back when, and uh, just over there by the farmhouse, I built him. Oh, there's another one there. I think that's, I think that's the guy that I had over here though. I think. Unless, unless that's the guy, the original guy that came back, but I don't think so. I think he's just, let's go and say hi. Let's just go and say hi to the Iron Golem. I'm pretty sure that is the guy that I had over there, which is interesting because the, my original Iron Golem did go this direction too, so I have a feeling there might be something in the... Um, in the AI that has them prefer what direction is that northwest it looks like um, the other thing is there is there is actually that's basically the direction of the other village so they might uh, there's a small chance I, I doubt it's true but they might head towards villages um, it's possible but I don't think that's that that's what he's doing I think he just has a, a bias towards northwest like the other one did. So I suspect my other one is basically somewhere to the northwest also here. Okay, so enough socializing with the Iron Golem. Just let him just hang out there. He might be the original one, but I doubt it. I think he's my second one. He just went the same direction as my original one. That's okay though, because I have plenty of iron, not enough iron to make tracks through the nether, but enough to make a another iron golem or two. Um, that's, yeah, that's my next project will be to actually make a safe spot for the villagers that I cure. Like if I cure any zombies, they'll have a safe space to stay and they, they won't be able to get out, but at least they'll have some room to walk around. Like I'm not going to just lock them in a cobblestone two by two, you know kind of dealio. Um, okay, I have mycelium. I guess this is valuable right now. Obviously, soon enough it'll be a f fairly abundant block for me, but for now, um, let's see. Oh, I have a... Uh, I'm sorting everything out. I've moved some of these things around because basically, I mean, that's all the the bones and bone meal I've got and string so you know I've I've been doing a lot in this world and just collecting little pieces on the side um, I have six eyes of ender so I think a few more and I'll be able to go to the end which I'm not really I'm not even sure if I want to do that but um, I might do it just just because, just to see it. I don't know if I can defeat the Ender Dragon. I don't know if I even want to, but I suppose I can go there and, and I, I might be able to escape from the Ender Dragon. No, I still can't get back, that's the thing. I could get some materials from an Ender Chest, maybe. 
Um, but anyways, yeah, so, so I'm going to drop off paper and extra maps. Look, I have 28 empty maps. That's plenty for future exploration. I don't think I'm going to need them all. Um, I'm just going to take a peek at these maps. See, yeah, there's that isthmus. Ith isthmus. And then, you know, a C and and there's my island, my mushroom island, which I've spent this entire, I know this episode might be like over an hour for you. Um, I, I don't know how long it is, but you will know. So, the, my next task, just before I end the episode, just so it has a sense of closure to it. Well, I'm going to take a nap real quick first. But the whole point of finding that um, mushroom biome and the mycelium... Uh, oops, not tools. I put it in valuable. The whole point of all of that was, of course, to get my mushroom farm established. And I'll show you it over here. I think I'm going to change the roof on this. I'm going to make it something like wood. But I like the dirt walls. I might do like a cobblestone base, dirt wall, and wood top, wood roof on it. But as you can see, I have... Um, let's see. Uh, let's do... Now I want to turn as much of this as possible into mycelium, um, but I'm not that interested. Oh, jeez, <laughs> where did that <laughs> creeper come from? I don't know. I do not know. I does not know. Uh, and he blew up my nice pumpkin. I don't even know where he came from because like there's nothing dark under here. I don't think. I guess maybe he spawned or went like I didn't sleep quick enough. I think that's what happened. Okay, so we have mycelium and we shall plant some dirty dirt. Um yeah. Well, he kind of ruined my plans there. That Um, yeah. Oop. And, um, <laughs> this game runs at a different speed when I'm recording, so everything I do, um, is slightly off. This is why you don't want to build buildings out of dirt. I mean, as much as I love dirt buildings, every time a creeper comes by, I have to redo it. Yeah, I need more dirt. I mean, I could just use my ceiling, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how messy I want it to be out there. Um, so, yeah, we're running back for more dirt. We have puppy dogs. I don't know, did I have this many dogs? Um, I think I did. I don't think I've breeded any in a while. Uh, so we need some dirt. I think two stacks should be enough. Gosh, that creeper's annoying. Oh, I need to eat some potatoes. There we go, yum. You know what this game needs is cheese. There's milk and potatoes and everything else, but no cheese. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, the entrance is four wide. I'll make it one more wide. And I feel like getting rid of a bunch of grass. Um, the other thing I need is... Yeah, I need some more pumpkins. 
and make some jack lanterns. Mm -hmm. It is what I need. And where is the jack lantern going to go? Right there, for one. Another one right there. I'm going to do another one right there. Um, okay, now we're digging up all this grass. I don't know why I grew this grass in here to begin with. I, I guess I wasn't thinking. I guess I was too eager about um, building it. Uh, so I didn't think that this grass would be a pain in the in the butt. I will place... Yeah, I don't need any more jack lanterns now. Um, as far as that goes, yeah, I'm going to allow the entrance to be kind of fought over between grass and mycelium. Okay. Yeah, see, I didn't need that much extra dirt because I'm just digging up grass, which is turning into dirt. So, not a big worry, but anyways, it's getting done. Now, this this was a good kind of first start for a for a mushroom farm, um, but it's not um, it's not quite what I want it to be. Um, here's let's plant some more right on there, and it's not going to plant next to there. Okay, that's fine. Um, see, it's like a comes around a very wide uh, slowly descending staircase and then it in he down here it turns into um, it turns into a, a, a long it was going to be longer than this even but um, Basically, I was going to dig that way. I ran into my previous mushroom farm, which is okay, like just up there, and that ultimately leads to the other my um, my uh, mob farm or my uh, skeleton farm. I should s my skeleton farm. Okay, and I have these kind of little alcoves for s kind of seed mushrooms to grow, but. Um, I'm not really sure if I need this middle section uh, to grow them or not. Yeah, I'm basically there's there's a lot of work down here to be done, which I'm not going to do right now. Just, I mean, basically you you can see what I'm trying to do down here. Um, I think I want to make an even bigger one, and I might make one. I haven't done too much with water yet, but I might make a water thing like a waterfall that'll wash away some of these mushrooms, basically. Um, kind of automatic harvesting, which I haven't really done too much of. Um, which would be cool, I think. But, <laughs> that's for another time. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna call that... I'm gonna call that an end. And, um, you know, this, this will grow, and I will build more into this. Well, I'm probably gonna... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. You'll have to stay tuned and, and find out for, from another episode. Um, my sugar cane is growing. I got a flag flying. I got the sun late afternoon. Um, life is good in Space Boots Garden. How garden-like is it? Well, <laughs> it still looks pretty wild for the most part, but, um, you know... Oh, oh, that's the other thing. I did. I added this uh, gravel road in here. This gravel road is going to go. Um, well, right now it's a northwest. It's a north and south road. It's going to turn like once it gets past the like my. I don't know what it, my area here. It's going to turn to the west and go to the NPC village, um, and it's. I am going to do all kinds of cool stuff there. But of course, for now, I have nether portals that go there, so I don't need the road as much. So it's not... Oh! 
<laughs> I just, just realized I was carrying these uh, mushrooms. Yeah, those pigs like the mushrooms. Indeed, they do. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's... <laughs> seriously, that's the end of the episode. Nothing more to see. Nothing more... Not doing any more mapping. I'm not going back to that mushroom island, except that I probably will eventually, but... Yeah, not in the near future. And I will say goodbye for now.